Excuse me. Very unprofessional. I need to stop doing that. Now that the audio is up and working, can you guys tell me if the audio or if my audio is okay? Can you hear me over the music or should I lower it a little bit? Because I'm feeling that I should lower it a little bit. Lower it? Yeah, okay. Hold on. How does that sound? Is that okay? Um, I set it down to 80%, so you're only hearing 80% of the volume. The actual game is set to uh, 11 on the volume uh, thing. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Try this. Yep. This, this will do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrows. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. Mi Miki. I'm Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? N no, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira! M Miki. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. No, I don't like this character. Kira! Miki. Almost there. Kira! Miki. Kira! Miki. Worst girl right here, TBH. Yeah, I, I agree. I already don't like her. She's too peppy. I, I, I can't do this. Medic chick. Are you talking about the one with the helmet? I love her. Oops. Jill and Gillian. Miki. 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 No, why did you join in on it? Stop it! No, prostitute wor robot girl is a bad girl. And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Where were we? <laughs> it's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. For a hundred thousand is not many? Then what is it? Then what exactly is? Hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I meant... I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. Let's just make the same fucking drink again. I gotta take a drink now, too. Mmm. Mmm. Ugh. Ugh. Have you considered being more theatrical when mixing drinks? 
like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. I was in college, I tried to go into a party once, the bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Who should I make it out? <laughs> Who should I make it out to? For Jill, then. For Jill, never lose your star. From Kiramiki. That's a pretty autograph. <sighs> Has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club usually er, follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're w outside waiting for me right now. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice once you get used to them. I remember one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> Holy fuck, that's awesome, to, to be honest. I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? <laughs> I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now the stage should have all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called S Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love is a drug as an encore, though. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets are, were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Hey, uh... Something bitter, okay. I could just make another sunshine cloud, but I... I, I... See, that's manly and strong. I don't want to serve her that. Power driver? No. Suplex? No. I'll just give her another fucking sunshine cloud. It's all this girl drinks is sunshine clouds. Speaking of, I need to take a drink as well. Mm. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Miki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. 
I still write and compose my own songs. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. Hello, Meowykins. I know who it is. I'm just kind of saying... Twitch names. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or perform performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. What music do you like, Jill? Um, so, since you're just joining, uh, I'm taking a drink of alcohol every time I have to make a drink, so that's what I said, or meant by making it fun. I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? No, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. A drink or a shot? A drink. I'm drinking Locos. What else do I buy, uh, Meowykins? All I buy is Locos, because it's cheap, it's easy, it gets me drunk, it's... It's, it's not... I shouldn't drink like that, because these, these things... These things, okay, these things have way, way, way too much sugar in it. No, legit. Me being pre-diabetic and these things having so much sugar in it, that's a bad thing, but, you know, whatever. They get me drunk, usually. Actually, lately, they've just been giving me headaches. Does the name Red Comic ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days. That's what they called me during... How many of those do I have? One and a half right now. That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. Go buy actual liquor. I don't have actual money. <laughs> I want to die. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, uh, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glass today, so I'll leave now. Take care. And boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Nice, I got a tip. Zero mistakes, 30% commission. Good shit. Jill is humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You can now browse Kira Mickey's blog. Oh, wait, I better go buy that shit. Not only am I broke, I'm not even close to a liquor store. <laughs> I legit do live in the middle of nowhere now. Ever since I moved, I'm like, stranded. Uh, okay. Did that idol really show up, or is she like the ghost? Hey. I guess this is Kira Miki's blog. Thanks, GC. So much energy, so much love, I could feel the optimism in the air. What I do to relax. It's been very hectic sitting on rooftops. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tea cocktails, alright. I don't give a shit. 
what is in the danger you what's in the 4chan uh, forums oh my god <laughs> stop forcing Alice so we hate Alice now good December 17th welcome to the second retribution Jake Gage coming that font oh boy spooky font it's happening I feel when I just got out of jail I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just want to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact your mom. <laughs> <clears throat> Fuck off, Alice. Not this shit again. Oh, I love these. Mickey concert. Blah, blah, blah. What is on the augmented eye? Who is Alice Rabbit? More than half a century ago, a group of notorious hackers rose to prominence and they called themselves Anon. Ha ha ha, they weren't even a threat to real protected data December 17th. Fucking Lana Smithy. Do you think Lana Smithy's just one person? Okay, that's the music player, alright. Save. Alright. Time to go to work! Good evening. Oh, hi there. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma. Ah, uh, Leonidas, Gillian, Marcello. <laughs> I stumbled across her on my way in and asked her if she wanted to tag along. Hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself at home. Where's Bosh? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself com comfortable while I prepare. Right, thanks. I don't give a shit. Same tracks are... These tracks are pretty good, so... Time to mix drinks and change lives. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't rub off until high school or so. Look at this. A glass with a signature to G... 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 I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine re recipe. That Kira Mickey girl came here yesterday before her concert, actually. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. The stoic-looking duo, right? Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. Want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Um, we've known each other for, a f what, a few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like, the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know? Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Do you want, speaking of buying, do you want a frame? For all those pics you have of your boss, the ones filling your phone's memory, some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true! Shut up! I'm a hacker, remember? I really like this one of her sleeping in her office. I think I'll copy it. You... Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Alma wants a bad touch. Two Bronson, two Powder Delta, two Flanagrine, four Caramel Cream. All on the rocks and mixed. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Oh, I gotta take a drink. Hold on. Ugh. Ugh. 
usually the one who registers it. Some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. Yeah, yeah. So who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at, at the bank. But that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out he was a LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing. Are you fucking kidding me? You dumped this guy because he was a LARPer. Okay, I'm gonna shut up now and keep reading. What a fucking thought. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sounds more like the nickname of some very heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Oh my god, this guy roleplayed Woodstock in fucking like a cyberpunk future? Jesus. <laughs> Those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud, and fuck in the open? Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with. Wait, you're telling me Woodstock exists in the cyberpunk future? What the hell? It keeps happening? If I stayed with him, I'd, eventu I'd eventually have to. I mean, I need to support my partner and what he does, but if it's something like that... You see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know him. Think about it, have you ended your longest lasting relationships for things like those? Alright, sorry for you not using the right word or whatever, but I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with anyone with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago, it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed Fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. <laughs> F fuckboy? <laughs> People have different needs and priorities. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mix, mixing your perfume with theirs, putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head, dozing off, knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? A weird drink? Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Promo drinks. Zen Star. so balanced would actually taste nice, you'd be dead wrong. Okay, not that one. Oh, hold on guys. Sorry about that. My neighbor came over and brought something for for my roommate. Okay, so what are we looking for? Promo drinks, right? Uh I'll give her a pretty woman. Or no, maybe I shouldn't make her something big. Hold on. I'll make I'll just make her a Zen Star. No, that's gonna be big as well. Uh This'll work. Oh 
Oh, fuck. I, I didn't put rocks in it. What the fuck did I do wrong? I uh, aged and I okay fuck me Jesus I have to I have to take a drink as well so give me a second after I do this There we go It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie Hmm Ugh Read they leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. Usually the first thing you ask for is a brand teeny and then something like a cobalt velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because it was too deep into routine. Maybe. Speaking of routines... As a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just for occasions like this. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves, I just remember that it was just petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist's identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It is no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet the press made up. The antithesis of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean, we have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything. An individual, a group, an AI... That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Imagine if... Suddenly, a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me, and it's thanks to that damned Alice Rabbit thing. I see. But enough of that, there's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitations for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh, that. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Do I make you uncomfortable? At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way, you can't just say no. Maybe it'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know, you kn or you know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitations? I mean, it's not a date, I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know. That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out, it's just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Anyway, I'm gonna need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. That's the Alma I know. You gotta make it big, baby! One, two, three, four, five, six. Aged and mixed.
Big Brantini. I gotta take a drink. Ugh. Starting not to taste too bad. I'm getting drunk. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got a hold of the, a brand of Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile com company. So on a, wind, a weird whim, they changed the name. You know, I was wondering, don't you worry about what the people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. You don't? Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Most of the time. Well, neither do I. Why should you? Do you get people drunk? Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's beside the point. I get my payment, do my job, and forget about the whole thing. You make your job sound so easy. Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem. I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are consultancy-based gigs. That's not like every day's a thrill. Do you meet with your client? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. I remember once I did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. Oh, shit. For security reasons, right? Actually, because that way I, I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. I also don't have to lose time proving my worth because big boobs equals small brain or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but the few times I've shown myself... Uh, they weren't even risky or dangerous jobs, just run-of-the-mill security checks. I don't know, maybe I need to show up as a disheveled nerd or something, give them what they expect to see. Or I just don't show up and save myself the trouble. Why all the questions? Just things I've been curious about and always forget to ask. So, so many Alice Rabbit headlines have made me wonder about the hacking business, too. Oh, I'll remember to ask you things next time, then. Well, I'll take my leave now. See ya. Take care. Hello, sugar. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Donovan. Okay, so I, I I gotta try to put this guy's voice on. I love this guy, by the way. He's great. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I, th I think it's more like plastic and carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck, and that's all my abdomen felt. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Oh, but don't worry. You're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer house. <laughs> a bit of advice. You shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today, I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. Having said that, I would just have the usual. The usual, he says. He wants a beer. That's his usual. Just, just a beer. And a big one at that. Or maybe I should give him a small one. Nah, fuck it. Give him a big one. Oh, fuck it. I fucked it up. An eight caramel train. All mixed. There you go. Sure, this will work. I got a drink. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was working to sit. I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but at the end, the result is what matters. I see. I love this guy, though. Fucking for real. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm? Hey. The signature on that glass over there. Uh, oh, yeah. That big-titted Lilim was here? 
She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here, anything. I got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. She said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. So, say, are many of your interns women, Mr. Donovan? All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry, desperate bitches. Why only women? Did you ever watch Race for Hope? The movie? Yeah. A movie about a journalist looking for cues regard looking for clues regarding the murder. Damn, I'm starting to I'm starting to trip over my words here. The damn beer isn't tasting bad anymore. God, I'm fucking We're good. That tacky movie had everything. Romance, action, a dog with sunglasses. It also sold this weird fantastical image of what journalism is. I'm guessing lots of girls are Lots of girls saw it in high school and wanted to become journalists. Now I have to deal with that shit. How can you be so sure? My first brother-in-law was a doctor. He said that a couple of years after that emergency heart movie, all of his interns were women for a long while. And this this why you don't let brats that barely understand what responsibilities are pick a career. Um, do you perhaps know a girl named Kimberly La Valette? Doesn't ring a bell. Who is she? Uh, nobody. Forget I said anything. Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You would expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on a singer? How can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbingers? Not really, no. There's some kind of... There's some group wanting to overthrow the white nuts. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece, and it even better makeshift toilet paper. <laughs> he wipes his ass with it. Huh? <laughs> That's good. I love this man. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some, some out saying they have proof of their claims. That they're going to release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid, give me a bleeding chain so I can call it a day. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. He doesn't... What the fuck? He never wants something like that. It's always beer, beer, and beer. I'll give him a small one, because I, I don't know. I'm not used to him ordering this. All blended. No ice. Okay. Let me take a drink. Mm. Eventually, I'm going to get to the point where I can I stop being able to read. Or stop being able to look at the words and physically say them correctly. <laughs> Alright, here you go, Donovan. Oh, shit, I... So, I've heard this is Dana Zane's bar, is it true? Yeah. Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some air bears? Six years ago, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten gr enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored. What can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Can't remember. Too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then, too. I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. But that sounds more like an unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. 
who the hell is here? There ain't nobody talking. One person. Oh, I feel... I feel very accomplished today. <laughs> Sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? That was alright as it can be, considering we're, that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is fi filed and everything's being put in order. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. What about Gil? He's the one that worries the mo me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a building. Ah, uh, yes, the levitation potion story. You use wor weird euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all this. Just who is Gil? I have an idea of who he is, but I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, sir! You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla Bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god, what is Sai planning now? Who the hell is this? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? What was that drink whose name was changed after many after people caused a stink? What the hell? I don't know. Do I actually have to go through all of the fucking names to figure this out? Ah, I got it. Okay, pretty woman. It used to be a pretty woman, I got you, so she wants a pretty woman. I can make her a pretty woman. She already is. <laughs> she kind of is a pretty woman. Mm. Sorry, I had to take a drink. All aged and mixed. Got it. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So you know Sai, miss. I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, God. So she left her helmet behind again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, no morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with the people who return it, at least. Quite a few people. Size as much of a, of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So did she recommend you this place, or... We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm. 
Say, is that Kira Miki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday, just before the concert. Really? I mean... She did? Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, this star-like signature is hers. Look at those fucking ears, though. Look at those ears moving up and down. So your name's Chill, then? Yes. Ain't this nice. Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. Too bad I couldn't purchase tickets for this one. I mean, they were sold out in minutes. Luckily, I could secure a couple for the next time she comes around. Oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. I know you're the only one here. I'm kind of depressed. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. I take it that was Sai. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. Uh, that's the Piano Man, right? No. Uh, what one was that? Not that one. What fucking one was it? What fucking one was it? Ah. Uh. Honor of a good friend. Okay. Does it actually even show up? It's definitely not a bad touch. It's definitely not a beer. Fucking God, which one is it? I could have sworn it was a piano man. I'm like 20% certain it's a piano man, so I'm gonna make her a piano man. I gotta take a drink too, I'm fucking... I'm starting to get sloshed. Five powder delta. Five flanner grind. Flanner Guide. Flanner. I don't even know how to pronounce it normally. Fuck me. All on the rocks and mixed. Am I right? Ah! I was right! I remembered! <laughs> eh, sorry. My roommate woke up. Hey, Jay. Can you open the dryer? Because it's been running for like an hour. Thank you. Good morning. I'm streaming. I'm also kind of drunk. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm streaming right now, so... Oh, yes, exactly. Thank you. How, look at this. I still have this one, too. I don't think I... I don't think I'm gonna play that long. Oh, see, the thing was... I, I decided to make it fun, because I'm playing this. 
Every time I would make a drink, I take a drink. I'm already fucking drunk. <laughs> How long have you been playing this? I've only been playing for ha 50 minutes. <sighs> okay, may I ask you something that might be personal? It isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection, so it had to be done. Otherwise, I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. But their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their design... Sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah. I started with my grandpa's collection and have been slowly growing them. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm more normally more of a social drinker. That's like me. Yeah. Unless it's with somebody, I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry, I'm late! Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic, too, and figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? I took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest ground transportation, but... I'm happy to see you put safety first. S safety No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they m don't give you motion sickness. If I ha if I find out how I avoid it, you'll be f you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was You're at it again. You and your cryptic orders always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. You need to be an able to answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing poor Jill out, poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever. Please order something normal, would you? That'll be two fringe reavers then. You'll have two drinks at once. No, we're sharing. What, like, ha half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Two fringe reavers, easy enough. So now I have two slots. When they, when they do stuff like this, I have to make them in, um, in, like, uh, both of them. So one out, uh, eight, eight will hide and nine camera train. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Age, mix. Stop. One. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Age. Mix. Stop. Sir. Two fringe reavers. Oh, I fuck. I have to take a drink. Hold on. Mm. That's all of one loco. That's gone. So, this one's for you, and this one's for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks! You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. Those spares should be saved for when you're, the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, sorry. But yeah, no, what Sam was saying earlier, this is best girl right here. This one's best girl, absolutely. Should I say that boss got her head stuck because of a jammed button? It's 
Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? I'll refrain for now. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. Don't be. It'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the fear-mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging youngsters that heard the city would be, level would be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? Quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent all your frustrations. No! She's setting down flags! She's setting down flags. Something's gonna happen. Oh my god. Why would you do this? Alright. It seems my vehicle is here to pick me up. You come inside? Nah, no, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then. Take care. Bye. She's such a worrywart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Uh, bacon? Not that I mind. I'm just curious. Well, you know how some things absorb the smell of what's nearby? It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tensions growing and that anarchist group trying to disband their white knights? To tell you the truth, I am a bit worried. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's been proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on, Zaibatsu's cor Zaibatsu Corp's main branch would... Fuck, I... Wait. Zaibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associates' fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though, because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem... restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information to the manager, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said, you're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message. But it's his, it's his intention that counts. Uh, oh. <laughs> Finally! The Dorothy has come back to Valhalla! What the fuck, is that supposed to be a schoolgirl's reference? Please for refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh! Oh, come on! You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shifts. Grab me something before they start grabbing me, you could say. Hey, are you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Why, yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both? One for each. Alright. Two blue fairies, alright. Which means I have to start on this other one. 
Oh man, I was hoping that I wouldn't have to drink anymore because I was gonna stop streaming after this day in the game. Okay. Mm. All aged and mixed. Two fairies. Um, sorry. Hey, hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue like your hair. It is! So, what's your name, sweetie? Call me Cy. Alright, Cy, I'm Dorothy. Say, Cy. Yes, yes? S Cy, say. Yes, yes? Say, say. Say, say. Oh, so it's pronounced say, not Cy. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow, you have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior ulterior motive. That includes Fuckboy over there. <laughs> Gillian! Gil, oh, poor Gil. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the what you see is what you get type. The look on your face is of one that simply sees no point in line. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me that you're so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh, yeah, the Lilum with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a humanoid mat. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. Oh, look at her. Your tongue is a BEBO69 with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of the premium extra flexible variety. And the most important thing, your hands. What, what about them? I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD-113 of Rialta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets for its, from its fingertips. So... so? Clause G of Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of Ballistic Augmentations. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilian designation that has upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of Class 3 grade or higher will be either, dis or either commissioned or disarmament or sent to for disarmament or sent to danger zones. What, what are you going to do? Nothing. Eh? I'm not in law enforcement, I just do rescue. And even if I was, I'm not on duty right now. Uh, oh. I want to know though, why go through with that upgrade? A girl's gotta take care of herself, you know? I wanna be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is, is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. You could get a small mod that changes them into disposable tips, assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I, I see. Well, I gotta go. Ah, yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, once, in, once is self-defense. Any more is assault. Y yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye-bye. 
Please come again. <laughs> Wait, I thought she was gonna take me away. They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two, if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although I'm tempted to ask, about what? DNA reading tongue? Very prehensile, intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints? Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin's my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes me, it makes it so, feel so soft no matter how much it's been battered. All right then. So you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people and all. Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilum. What can you say about me then? Let's see, hmm. You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. That's not the act itself, but rather that your partner just can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. There's an even deeper frustration, something that happened that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on the fly. All of that was just rubbish, I say, because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit, if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. I can't read you, honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky! Aren't you late or something? I am. But if you'd let me satisfy your frustrations, I could stall for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, eh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuck boy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey, boss, this might seem random, but do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The visage that welcomed me back, back, welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh yeah, that. I can't remember what exactly, but something fell inside, and I tried to retrieve it. it I just kind of put my hand in, and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Gil, how did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah, and that brings me to the random thought. The That incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh. Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was the incident with the TV. I'll admit the, my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have labeled their Z and S better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the Z5Z1. Still, Jill's on to something here. <clears throat> yes, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. Oh, nice! I made no mistakes, so I, I got the turn. I got the tip. Yes, Jill's subscription got renewed. She'll have no problem focusing at work today. Happy not birthday! You really like that website, huh? I sh I have needs. Okay, I'm I'm done. I can't handle any more tonight. I and I don't want to finish. I don't want to drink the rest of this. So we're just gonna wrap that top up so it stays fresh and just. Oh, oh God, my head is killing me. At least I'm not clinically depressed anymore like I was. 
anyway, I'm gonna call it right there. It's been ten, one hour and ten minutes, so that's probably my shortest stream this week. Uh, I'm glad that you guys showed up. I'm glad that some, and by some I mean one, of you stayed. Um, I was kind of hoping I'd see Lunar here tonight, but it doesn't really matter who shows up and who doesn't as long as people show up, right? That's, that's the thing, isn't it? Anyway, it was nice uh, streaming tonight, and uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, tomorrow, I guess I'll try to stream some Stardew Valley. I don't know. I haven't played that game in so long, I probably don't remember a goddamn thing about it. And if I don't stream Stardew Valley, who knows? I'll probably stream Shadowverse or something like that. Something that's going to be a mainstay forever. Anyway... See you later, guys. Bye-bye.